Hello, my name is Gabe Evans, and this is Jazz Moments. Stride Piano has sort of been the backbone of solo uh, jazz piano from the beginning with people like uh, uh, James P. Johnson and uh, uh, Hart Tatum, Fats Waller, Earl Hines, Jelly Roll Morton, etc. Um, Stride's piano is quite difficult uh, to keep your hand kind of jumping back and forth in quarter notes. So um, a nice way to start uh, learning how to play strides is to begin with a halftime feel. So in other words, instead of quarter notes, to begin by uh, with half notes. So if you have one chord per measure in your song, you play your root and your third and, the sep and third and seventh, and then your next root and your next third and seventh. And the key here is to use good voice leading. So if I take the song Stella by Starlight, my root's going to be, you know, there's my E minor chord. When I go to A7, my root goes there, and I use good voice leading to get to my A7 chord. C minor. So, using my guide tones, I kind of keep everything in the general vicinity, in this neighborhood, using my guide tones with inversions. I'm going to do that in my left hand by itself now. So root, chord, root, chord, root, chord, root, chord. I want to get as legato a sound as possible, so my hand has to move quickly. Now my right hand is free to do whatever it wants to do, so I'll just play the melody for now. So, when the melody got into the, where the range of the chords, um, which is confusing to a lot of people at first, um, what I did was, well, the melody is much more important than the chords, so I just backed off on the chords. I either played just one note or I left out the chord entirely. So the melody trumps the chord. Um, you can just leave notes off the chord. Also. Your hand doesn't always have to go way into the bass part of the piano. I mean, you might just play your C minor chord. There's no, nothing wrong with that. F minor, B flat. I can now, my, my right hand is free to play some eighth notes. Music keeps going because that left hand is taking care of business. If you have two chords, I'm uh, sorry, if you have one chord over two measures, you can play root, chord, fifth chord, like that. So G, chord, D, that's the fifth. Um, or if you want to play your altered fifth, if that's the nature of the chord, you could also do that. This is a great foundation for either learning to play strides or learning how to kind of play a broken feel. Um, I'll talk a little bit about a broken feel right now. Bill Evans is one of the pianists who really uh, did the broken feel solo piano thing extremely well. So, as he did everything really well. So, now, my left hand plays root, it's based on that, but I'm going to sometimes make one a quarter note or anticipate one. Maybe I'll stay on the chord and go down, but it's, this, it's based on that half note feeling. So now I have this. So 
So I've just kind of uh, shuffled the rhythm up a little bit, and um, but it's the same basic idea, and you end up getting this nice, free, floaty kind of sound. Note, I'm still playing almost exclusively guide tone voicings, two note voicings. Um, so those voicings are not so important as long as you get those fundamental tones. It's more about the rhythm and the feel that you're playing with. So uh, enjoy working on your half note strides feel and um, I'll do a strides video as well. So thanks for watching and have a nice day.